Tell us your name. I'm Jordan Ate. How old are you, Jordan? I'm 13. Oh, my goodness. And did you guys plan this? Uh, not really. I mean, um, they, they kind of planned the blue situation on her, but yeah. <laughs> Super cute. Your little mini me. I love it. How are you doing, Sasha? I'm doing great. I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. We're excited. Today, you guys have been named top 10, yes. the youngest generation, season 13. So you think you can dance. First of all, 13 seasons of the show. Did you ever think you'd be on the show at this age? Well, <laughs> I didn't. I know. It's just like, you know, I've only been dancing for four years, and then they just started the kids, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm on top 10, and I'm 13, and if I wasn't 13, I wouldn't have been able to dance, so I'm really grateful. This is an awesome opportunity, and also the mentorship thing. I think it's so beautiful. First of all, you guys already look connected. Like, it's so sweet. Are you excited about this relationship? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, all the kids that we've seen over the whole audition process, they're all, they have such a fire in them, and um, we can see that they want this really bad, and they just want to learn and grow and learn and more and more and more. And it's, um, it's really beautiful to see that because... Um, there are such perfectionists already, but we, we see certain things that they don't understand because we are older and we understand our bodies a little bit better. And um, being able to just like, you know, help them grow into a better, you know, whatever they want to be, it's, it's just really inspiring. I love it. And what do you hope to get out of this season? What do you just want to have fun? I mean, are you looking forward to like dancing, like with a certain choreographer? Um, I'm looking forward to dancing with Sasha, of course, of course. and I'm also looking forward to dancing with the different kids because there are a whole bunch of different styles and, you know, you just have to go through all of them. Mm -hmm. That would be absolutely amazing. What's your favorite style? Contemporary. And what are you most nervous about? What style? Ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, I think this is such an opportunity for you young ones to grow, you know, but also on on camera in front of the world but it's just so adorable like I have a little girl she's four and a half I know that you are going to inspire her to see you on TV she's gonna feel like she can do the same thing so how do you feel that you're gonna do, you're gonna be an inspiration I love inspiring people especially since I love being inspired myself and I hope that everybody is just happy and they don't feel any doubt about themselves anymore. It's just, I hope they keep. Isn't she like, <laughs> she's is so wise for her little age. It's so beautiful. It is. I'm excited a bit about this new format. How do you think America is going to feel about it? Or are they accepting it? Are they not accepting it? Um, well, I think it's hard for people to accept th some things that they don't understand and they haven't seen before. So um, I know there was some feedback about the show being like, you know, there's kids and you should put them through a process like this and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there is there is a lot more support in this than anybody ever knows. Like, we're so supportive of the kids and we try to encourage everyone to keep going and keep trying hard. And uh, we try to let them know that you, you can't always win everything. You can't always, you know, get everything you want, but you always must try hard. And I think um, it'll set off a good message in the end once everyone knows what we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. And everybody's a winner at the end of the oh, day. Yeah, sure. I mean, keep going if you keep going and you, you know, you just keep trying to inspire yourself and keep trying to change and grow and, you know, make a difference in this world. It's it's that's all. That's what it's all about. That's the point of the show. I think the growth, the evolution, and that everybody can watch as every episode goes on is why people fall in love with all of you. You know, so I'm excited to see what you guys bring. Uh, what do you think are going to be some of the challenges? Um, I mean, chore choreographically wise, <laughs> A anything. I mean, obviously, going through the whole season, not just dancing and how hard it is on your body, but all the interviews and all the things extracurricular that go on. What? How do you think you will be able to contribute and help her through that? Um, I think for me, um, when I first went through it, it was really hard to um, know that I was great even though I did, I wouldn't say bad, but not my best on the show. Um, like if I got a style that I wasn't, you know, a, a professional at, obviously people out there that have 
know more about the style, they will critique me and, you know, say this or that or say, oh, she should have won or she should have won. So um, I think just like um, the mental process of all of that would be the, the hardest part. But as long as you keep your friends and family around and um, know what you're here for and know that you're here to for yourself and you're here to grow and um, learn more, I think um, you're, you'll be on the right path. Yeah. I think it's so special because you get to coach her, guide her through each and every step, which sometimes artists don't get that out there, especially young kids in this day and age. Even, even with dancing, you know, there's classes, but to get the one-on-one -on -one support is going to, sometimes it just takes that one person to believe in you, right? That like takes you to the top. And so it's really special. And I think you guys are a great pair. I'm super excited for you. Um, and good luck. Thank good you. luck. Have a fantastic time. Yeah.